In addition to the layer dropdown in the Layers panel on the Home ribbon, you can also control layer states and layer settings by using the Layer Properties Manager. When you click the Layer Properties button, the program displays the Layer Properties Manager. This button acts as a toggle. If you click on the button again, the Layer Properties Manager disappears. Click the button again, and the Layer Properties Manager is once again visible. The Layer Properties Manager is a palette, and therefore it behaves just like any other palette. When it is floating, you can click and drag its title bar to move it around. You can also resize the palette by clicking and dragging on an edge or corner. If you right-click on the title bar, you can move, size, or close the palette. The Layer Properties Manager palette can also be docked to the side of the drawing window or anchored to the left or right. Notice that when the palette is anchored, it is actually still open, but it rolls up so that it does not take up much room. But since it is a palette, you can start a command, such as the Line command, and then, when you move the cursor over the palette, the Layer Properties Manager rolls back out and you can make changes to layer settings even while in the middle of the command. Then, when you move the cursor back into the drawing window, the palette rolls back up and the line command is still active. Even when the palette is floating, it can be set to automatically hide. Now, when you move the cursor off the palette, you only see the palette title bar but when you move the cursor back over the palette, it rolls back out so that you can modify the layer settings. If you do not want the palette to roll up like this, you can right-click the palette title bar and turn off the auto-hide feature. When auto-hide is turned off, the palette no longer hides when you move the cursor away from the palette. When the palette is visible, it can be difficult to see objects behind the palette, but you can also adjust the transparency of the palette. To do this, right-click the palette title bar again and choose Transparency. This displays the Transparency dialog box. Notice that the dialog box has two settings. The general setting controls the overall transparency of the palette. By dragging this slider to the left, you can increase the transparency of the Layer Properties Manager palette. Set that value to 30%. The Rollover setting controls the transparency of the palette when you move the cursor over the palette. You can click the Click to Preview button to see the effect of this setting. Notice that when the Rollover transparency is set to 100%, the palette will become solid when you move the cursor over the palette. If you still want to see through the palette a bit even when the cursor is over the palette, you can reduce this value. Set it to 60%. Then, click the Preview button to see what this looks like. Note that the general transparency cannot be more opaque than the rollover transparency. For example, when you move the general slider back to the right, once you reach 60% and you continue to move the general slider, the rollover slider moves as well. Change the general value to 75% and the rollover setting to 100%. Once the transparency is set the way you want, click OK. Now you can see the geometry behind the palette. When you move the cursor over the palette, the palette becomes opaque. You can then modify any of the layer states. For example, you can turn layers on and off, change their colors, and so on. Notice that as you make those changes, you immediately see the changes in the drawing. There is no OK or Apply button, because the Layer Properties Manager is a palette, not a dialog box. When you make changes using a palette, you see those changes immediately in the drawing. This makes it very easy to manipulate layers even while you are in the middle of using some other command. If you wish, you can lock the user interface to prevent palettes from being relocated. The tools for locking the user interface appear on the status bar, but by default, 
these tools are not initially visible. On the status bar, expand the customization menu and select Lock UI to add the Lock UI tool to the status bar. Then click away from the menu to close it. The Lock User Interface tool now appears on the status bar, but is initially toggled off. Click the arrow adjacent to the Lock User Interface tool to display its shortcut menu. The shortcut menu has four options. Floating Toolbars Panels prevents you from moving any toolbar or ribbon panel that is currently floating. Docked Toolbars Panels prevents you from moving any toolbar or ribbon panel that is currently docked. Floating Windows prevents you from moving any palette that is currently floating. Docked Windows prevents you from moving any palette that is currently docked or anchored. In the shortcut menu, enable the options for Floating Windows, and docked windows, and then click away from the menu to close it. The lock user interface tool is now toggled on, as indicated by its blue background. When you move the cursor over the tool, the tooltip also shows you that lock user interface is on. Now try to move the Layer Properties Manager palette. When you do, you see a small red circle with a line through it, indicating that you cannot relocate the palette. When the UI is locked and floating window is selected, you cannot move a floating palette. But you can temporarily unlock a palette. Press the control key and then try to move the palette. As long as you press the control key, you can move the palette. On the status bar, expand the lock user interface menu, clear floating windows, and then close the menu. The UI is still locked, but now you can move the palette. Right-click and anchor the palette on the left. Now try to move the palette. You again see the icon indicating that you cannot relocate the palette. When the UI is locked and Docked Windows is selected, you cannot undock a docked palette or relocate one that has been anchored. But again, you can press the Control key to temporarily unlock the UI and then relocate the palette. You can toggle off Lock User Interface to move any user interface element freely or leave Lock User Interface enabled, but toggle off Floating Windows and Docked Windows so that you can once again relocate any palette without restriction. In this case, on the status bar, toggle off Lock User Interface. Then expand the Customization menu and click Lock UI to toggle off the display of the Lock User Interface tool. Being able to lock the user interface helps ensure that various tools remain where you have placed them, but it does not completely prevent them from being moved. Most people prefer to have the Layer Properties Manager anchored rather than floating. That way, it stays out of the way until it is needed. When you need to make a change, you can move the cursor over to the edge of the drawing window. Then, when the palette becomes visible, you can make any necessary changes and then move the cursor back into the drawing and continue what you were doing.